Hey guys, it's Undead Chronic, back again with another response video. This time, I'm not really trying to roast this dude. Um, I'm trying to help him out. So maybe this isn't a roast response video. This is like an encouragement video. Before we get started, if you want to see Chronic reach out more often to the incel community, to the black pill community, even to the cuck community, consider donating to paypal.me slash the undead chronic you know just throw in a youtube channel or try to suggest someone or if you know a big youtuber that's down to collab or debate or whatever just hit them up for me on my behalf uh, but let's look at this guy this guy has um almost a thousand subs and he made a video titled incel transformation day 150 dealing with depression from cyberbullying now there's a couple things i want to comment on here First of all, this dude has some glorious locks. Second of all, his hairline is running to the hills. He needs to find a way to fix that. Um, I'm not sure where he started at day zero, but I'm just going to assume he hasn't been hitting the gym as viciously as he should be. But let's see what he has to say. Good evening, everyone. It's 9.35. Today's day 150. I am uh, still prepping myself for success for next year. I've got goals I want to accomplish, and leading up to next year, I'm getting myself in the habit of accomplishing some of those goals because it's a big battle to that. To, that I'm... I have him sped up to 1.75. I just took him down to 1.25. He doesn't usually sound like a mouse. Going to accomplish in 2021, so I'm. It's a big change I'm going to have to do, so I'm taking every chance I have to prepare myself for the end of 2021. It's kind of like when a soldier goes. To a battle he takes or she nowadays so to be gender neutral they take as much time as they can to prepare for the battle they don't just take supplies they take a mindset you know they take tactics they take intel they take as much as they can so they can be prepared physically and mentally for the battle to come and this guy has the right mindset here does this, you know, I'm getting ready for the battle, does this include going to the gym for two hours a day? And honestly, does this include two hours of push-ups a day? Even speed walking outside your house, that's, that's more useful than not doing anything. And I have to battle my mental illnesses. I have to, you know, battle my own mind. I have to change it. And David Gargan talked about going to war with your mind, but that's what I have to do. I have to go to war with my own mind and beat it. This is a great mindset to have. You know, props to this guy. This is how you go about changing yourself. You are going to war. You are a soldier. Now, what are you fighting against? Your own stupid, disgusting habits, hobbies, vices. You know, your, your, own, your own insufficiencies. We'll just say that. Um, so, yeah, you can treat it like a war. You can be a soldier. That's definitely a thing to do. So, I'm taking every chance I have. Now, I'll up to 2021. I'm not taking a day off and just... You know, taking every chance I can to prepare myself for what I'm about to do. So, but I wanted to talk today about how I'm dealing with cyberbullying. Okay, this guy has a YouTube channel that almost has a thousand subs. He's a self proclaimed incel and he's getting bullied on the internet. This is expected, man. Right? It, it's, just, it's just what happens. So, either you gotta grow thick skin, right? You gotta disable comments. Or stop posting YouTube videos. Those are your three options. And that's the same for everybody. Absolutely everybody. I mean, look at all these feminists out here. They're getting roasted in their comment sections. They either disable their comment sections, they get off of YouTube, or guess what? They deal with it. I respect the ones that can deal with it. So, dude, you just got to learn to deal with it. Uh, today I've been dealing with some depress depression a lot. I've had to pull myself out of it. Um, it's I've been ruminating on... The fact that women online have been making fun of my weight and telling me I'm ugly, and I know I mentioned it before, but basically my mind gets stuck on it, and it can't let it go because it's, I don't know if it's the PTSD or what it is, but it's just building up on what's been already programmed programmed into my mind. You know what you should program right now? You should program a way to pull a pull-up bar right in this doorway, right? I'm not trying to be mean. I'm being honest, man. Like, put a pull-up bar here and try to do 100 pull-ups a day, right? And you'll get jacked. You'll keep the beard. You'll keep the, the locks of hair. And, and chicks will want you. That's what you should be doing for 160 days. Because of what I've been through, 
it's like I was grown I was taught growing up that you know people change after high school and um, women grown women don't care about men's body or physical attractiveness just personality and that's the blue pill that's always the blue pill and then if I've got grown women you know they'll just put in comments on my videos that I'm ugly or make fun of my weight it's like you know either women care a lot about physical attractiveness or I'm just particularly ugly or or and you know what you being at this current weight, a lot of people would say you're ugly. But here's the third option. People are mean on the internet. That is a very valid third option. But dude, listen, man. You sound pretty nasally, right? Probably because you need to lose some weight and open up that esophagus a little bit more. Just a little suggestion, man. I mean, turn your channel into a fitness channel and then do a transformation. Chronic will, Chronic will ensure if you can follow my program, Mr. Anime Saved My Life, you will get jacked, you will lose that depression, and you will get laid. Guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed. <laughs> this guy would be a great candidate for the first, you know, incel to hero um, competition under Chronic Sponsors. But let's see what he has to say. And that really affects my confidence because, you know, I'm trying to improve myself. You know, I'm combing my hair now. Um, I'm, you know, I'm cleaning my apartment more often. I am studying. I am just basically learning to fight my depression and make it so I have less control over my mind and I'm able to function better with it. I'm working on... You know how he can fight his depression? He can go to the gym. Working out fights depression. It's more effective than drugs to fight depression. Um, that's a scientific fact. So he should go to the gym to fight his depression. Cleaning his apartment's good. The fact that he has his own place is good. Being able to work better at work. I mean, hey, I just got a raise. So, you know, and I'm working on getting another job. So, you know, I'm working on improving myself financially, you know, mentally, psychologically. Um, Physically? Are you gonna try to improve yourself physically? Just in general, housekeep. I'm gonna to learn to cook. I'm starting to cook more at home. You know, so I'm actually, um, you know, improving my character. I'm working on improving myself every day. Gym, 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 gym. That's what me and Ribby would be saying if he was here, right? He's complaining about. He's like, I'm feeling depressed because women are calling me fat and ugly. So I'm working on it by learning how to cook, cleaning my apartment, and studying. Go to the gym, bro. I'm telling you this as a Buddha from the red pill sphere. I'm kind of adjacent to you, kind of, you know. Maybe it's like red pill, MGTOW, black pill, and so I, I don't know what the chain is, but I, I, I see you over there. I see you suffering. Um, go to the gym, bro. Please go to the gym. <laughs> Papa Chronic could be so proud of you if you went to the damn gym. I think I'm going to go to the gym again today after posting this video. Some days are better than others. But, yeah, I'm working on improving myself, and then I get comments saying I'm ugly and I'm fat from a grown women. It's like, it really discourages me from doing what I'm doing because it's like, wait, you know, you're showing that women care a lot about physical attractiveness. It's like, wait, is what I've been told wrong? You know, it's, it's like things are adding up. You were lied to. Your family lied to you when they told you what women are trying to do. Because your mom wanted to come across as some virtuous woman who married your dad. Just, you know, I didn't care what it looked like. I'm just, my love is so special and unique. They didn't teach you what attractiveness was because they were scared of sexuality because they're just immature infants. They're, they never grew up. These... These boomers and these kids, the baby boomers, these Gen Xers, you know, they never got the talk. They got the talk at 17 when they already watched, you know, dozens of hours of um, scandalous material. We'll say it like that. So, of course, they don't know how to give their kids a sexual education. And then you get you get, you get kids like this. You get, you get sons like this. A self-admitted incel. Who wants an incel for a son? Ask this dude, hey, man. Uh, in the future, 20 years from now, you're going to have like five kids, a beautiful wife. Um, you got two sons. Do you want them to be incels or not? He's going to say, hell no. 
right? Like being cast as a spell of ignorance of the sexual marketplace. I'd say that's 95% of the time is the case for incels. Maybe 5% they have some kind of disability or deformity that they truly are, you know, incels. And then, you know, I just, we, you, maybe we could do like a, maybe off the funds we raise from our incel to, you know, Chad, um, you know, speed run. That's what we'll call the competition. We'll like, you know, raise funds for the incels that can't compete because they're, you know, disabled or deformed. And then with the, with the combined prize pool, maybe 30% of that can go to um, prostitutes for said incels. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's honestly a charity no think about it that's a if that's not a charity i don't know what is you are satisfying the 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 needs of these incels you know uh, how many people you just do the math do the you know what percentage of incels live in canada and the u.s um what percentage will pursue um violent attacks because they're incels and, and multiply that by the um you know how many people on average uh, die in a violent insult attack and then bam um that's how many people you save by you know there's charity you're saving people's lives in the future and you're saving incels nuts in the present come on it's a beautiful charity if you want to donate to that charity donate to paypal.me slash the undead chronic let's get back to what this guy is saying it's 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 kind of like you know what i've been told isn't turning out to be true it's it's it just makes me question what i've been taught Right, you, you're calling yourself an incel, Bruta. Have you taken the red pill? You see, he hasn't taken the red pill yet. That's the big problem. So I'm going to leave a comment on his video here. I'm going to send him a link to this video. Right, this is an invitation, Bruta, for you to take the red pill. I have the answers for you, you know? I mean, I, 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 I can give you the answers, but you got to work for them if that makes sense. You got to go on the labors, like the 10 labors of the red pill. And you'll get this truth before you, but you gotta work for it, right? I don't have an easy truth. I don't have a oh, hold your head at this position and act alpha, and you'll get you'll get laid. No, I don't have that for you. Um, but I have quests, right? I have uh, labors for the red pill for you to enter your red pill journey and obtain what you want. But Punyata. yeah, I've been dealing. He wants punyata. That's that's what I meant. The depression of that today with uh, the cyber cyberbullying from grown women, believe it or not. And yeah, I'm still able to do some things today, not as much as I would have. I'm working on um, creating a schedule for myself and following it, which is hard, but something that you have to do if you're gonna be successful in life to accomplish things. Yeah, most people don't, and I'm going to have to because that's just the way I'm going to be able to routinely do what I need to do to advance myself, you know. And we need to advance to a different topic because honestly, this dude needs some one-on-one -on -one with Chronic. Much like you have gotten some one-on-one -on -one with your boy. It's been Undead Chronic, guys. Take it easy. Is your style getting out of whack? Do you want to be flexing at the gym? Well, then why don't you boys go on over to Undead Chronic's Warband store on Teesprings. The link is teespring.com slash stores slash Undead Chronic's Warband store. That's right, we have an extremely unique URL for this Warband store. We have so many products and many more coming out. So if you want to support the channel, and if you want to uh, celebrate a special Christmas, consider getting the uh, Undead Chronic Christmas graphic for the low cost of $4.20. You can use this as a holiday card. You can print this picture out of Lord Chronic passing out red pills and bombs and all that good good to the brutas it will be absolutely yours for the low price of four dollars and twenty cents or do you want to see your girl in chronics tights that's right you could see your girl in some nice white tights with your boy chronic on the side and you know what the best part about these tights are the workout warrior on the chronic on the back he's pointing to you exactly where you need to put it ah! <laughs> so make sure you get your merch from the undead chronic warband store today a world where freedom itself is under attack